Hey nerds, welcome to Jerry Bear Reacts. Today we're reacting to season two, right? Episode, wait, 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 wait. Episode 13, Daddy Issues. So I'm gonna go ahead and skip the recap while I do my intro. All right, blessed. So, that's where we're at. Last episode was a very heartfelt, heartwarming episode that revolved around young Damon and our favorite flower, Rose, I love you. And, uh, you know, that's all I got. Up to the heavens, or wherever, I don't know, wherever she goes, I don't know. I wonder if vampires have their own thing. Vamp heaven, or like, Vampatory, which is like a vamp in purgatory. Or maybe they just get reincarnated. I don't know what the fuck happens, bro. Hey. Rose, I hope you're in a better place. <laughs> no more pain. I hope she's out in that field running around with them horses. Living her best life. Uh, and then we also had Jules interact with Tyler. Bitch face then proceeds to kiss Caroline. Or beforehand, actually. And uh, I'm just I'm just over his, his existence. I just don't care anymore. I, I don't care. I never cared. From the second he was on screen, uh, Johnny Gilbert's back, and no Bonnie last episode, no Jeremy, so we'll see if we get them here. Alaric helped out Stefan in helping to find Elizabeth, that's why Johnny's back. So, this episode's called Daddy Issues, we're going to go ahead and get into it. A link to the Patreon and the Twitch stream and everything else in the description box down below. As well, if you guys are new here, feel free to subscribe for daily content. If there's a day, there is a reaction. So Jerry does his best work behind the scenes. Let me make this full screen real quick. And we're going to go ahead and get into it. Look at Mason. Hey, Mason, you know what? Rest in peace, Mason. I feel like he deserves that. I like him. I don't care if nobody else did. That's all I got. So I just had some nachos, but I drink some wake-up juice. We're in a good place. We're in a good place right now. Wait, it's muted. Sweet Kirla. Bro, is that fucking Look at look at you. You look stupid. How's it going? I hear pouting in a girl's driveway. Yeah, we do. Stefan and his brother Damon killed him. Because Stefan and Damon are vampires. Just like you. Huh? Let me explain. Did you know he was dead this whole time? Please. Did you know? Maybe. Get your bitch ass hands off of her. Anger issues. Anger issues. Werewolf or not, bro. Hey, werewolf or not. This dude is like it's like twice now that he's grabbed up a girl. Just snatched her up. Who raised you? Cause it wasn't your parents. Bunch of goddamn savages. God, he pisses me off every episode. We just gonna pan up, navel up, right here on Damon? Everybody breathe, I know how you guys are. Rest in peace, Jessica. He left the body? I don't think I actually heard properly. See? All, they're always fucking doing something. Okay, he's got a little... I like that. It gave him a little, uh, like a little prosthetic glove or something. Surely they didn't sew his fingers back on, did they? They could have. That could just be like an ace bandage to keep it together. Maybe. Or else it's just a full-on prosthetic under a glove. Either way, good for the actor. Uh, you know what, John, bro? I don't really like you right now at the moment, but I do like your little haircut you got going on. Second of all, there's always having events. Now they're having a fucking memorial, okay? There's always events going on. Memorials, celebrations, cookouts, fucking BAMP camp parties, football night, whatever the situation may be. They're always doing something. The recent tragedies that have plagued our town. I like his little haircut, man. It goes with him. Today to honor all those we have lost. Join us in hopes that as a community, you look thinner. Do you lose some weight? Morning. You doing better what other than being here? a fucking dick? Coffee? Dick I'm shit. We did that last night. No more avoiding. Why are you here? 
It's okay, I'm confused, right? Because we were not <laughs> expecting you, like, ever. Oh, well, I got in late last night. Atlanta let me in. See a look Rick gave him? Oh, bitch-ass Johnny. I'm still confused here. I decided to come back and stay for a while. But, you know, would you like to do the honors? Okay, what's going on? Did he on? pull some strings or some shit? I'm sorry, Jenna. I should have told you earlier, but... I'm Elena's biological father. There. Now you know. I thought that was already been like discussed at some point. I know Jenna's hella confused right now. What? God, I dude. John Gilbert. I just. Jenna's a wife. That's it. That's the only reason I paused. I had to say it. I just. Can't help the way I feel. That was your big save, Elaine. I went to go look for Isabel and I got John instead. You gotta watch your back. So I may just have to go get a hero hairdo of my own. <laughs> <laughs> A fucking hero hairdo. Oh shit. I love how he talks. 911 now. I got it, Mom. I love how he he talks in like a very sarcastic tone. A lot of people look, I just I fuck with Damon. Like I feel like we're one of the same. Obviously I don't gaffle people. I don't murder anybody. But humor wise. I think we get each other. He he speaks his truth in his sarcasm. So what what comes off as, as sarcastic is also him being truthful. Like, hey, so what? I cared. It's all good, buddy. I love that Stephanie immediately was like, bro, you cared. Just say it. Damon does put on a pretty hard front around Damon. I like that he was able to be vulnerable for a little bit with Elena, which was good. And obviously with Rose in that small situation, which she'll never remember because she's dead. Rest in peace. Sometimes flowers uh, wilt. Is that the word? Yeah. You're gonna tell Damon, are you? No, he already wants to kill him. He thinks all werewolves should die. <laughs> and he's not wrong to think that, Karen. That motherfucker's a, you know, a were racist. He has every right to. He can get himself killed. Well, we're not gonna let that happen. We're friends. I was right. The fucking we're power friends. of friendship. I love Caroline. No vampire friend, she was lying. Why do they always make the vampires and werewolves like the, uh... Oh, man, what were their names? Fucking... Is it... Romeo and Juliet, the Montagues and the fucking uh, the other peeps. House is divided. They could coexist. I don't even know you. My mom would freak. <laughs> I don't even know you. My life is. That's, that's the best thing he's ever said with his uh, fucking bitch face. Like oh, I hate him, dude. You have so much to learn. We live by a code of loyalty. We take I want him to slip and fall into a fucking wood chipper. I honor to help you. Please let me. What are we gonna do? Kill him. Damon. I'm joking. Okay, I'm a little <laughs> Damon. <laughs> I'm the good guy now, remember? Fucking Batman and Robin. I'm gonna have a civil conversation with your father. <laughs> Civil. No, nah, he don't. Oh uh, no. Stefan also had a civil conversation with his ass up in that hospital bed. I'm waiting for another Stefan moment like that, bro. Tell somebody off. I'm not gonna hurt you. I just wanna talk. My man flexed them eyeballs. He said, "Not right now." You ain't that strong, puppy dog. You better chill out, Oli. You turn one time. Little fur butt. <laughs> Steven a male, bro. You mean to tell me fucking green arrows have been the show? The green arrow is a fucking werewolf. Is that what you're telling me right now? Of all the things. Yo! Damon Salvatore is leading the council now. Talk to him. Excuse me. <laughs> Jeremy. I don't think it's happening. Yo, what's up, Jeremy, bro? Looks like I slept through the homecoming. <laughs> Didn't miss much. Wanna go grab some lunch? I think I'll pass. He's trying. Okay. You dig you you are the reason that like the mayor's dead, 
that fucking... Okay, Bonnie, you're the reason that fucking Anna's dead. You're the reason Damon almost got gaffled. I don't have anything to say to you, Dr. Martin. You might not want to believe this. We're a warlock. Elijah is a man of his word. You can trust that he'll keep his end of the deal with Elena to keep you and your friends protected. Not at all. What was that about? More lies. Just more lies. Did you see the way? Okay. That little side hug walk. I can't believe Johnny. it. Johnny! Elena is my sister's husband's brother's daughter, and her mother is my boyfriend's deceased wife. I mean, you can't make this stuff up. That's, uh, definitely you, you literally can, though. I, can't believe I don't like that saying. Like, I'll say it a lot, a lot. Like, you can't make this up. You can't. You can make anything up. Genuine, you can make anything. Everything's made up. Words are made up. Everything is, is, is made up. Like, literally, somebody created the words I'm saying right now that you understand. It's all made up. Stay woke. <laughs> It was hard to keep a straight face during that. There is a there is truth to it, though. Speak of the devil. Answers, please don't do anything stupid. Yeah, but stupid's so much more fun. Damon, I mean it. All I'm asking is you try to keep it together. John. <laughs> He's so full of shit. So full of shit. I love him, bro. It's good to see you. Is it? What if you just want to snap this shit up again? No what her flaws are. When push comes to shove, you're going to want that girl on your side. She's your friend. Stop being a dick to her. I thought vampires hated werewolves. That's some sort of leftover idea from another time. Civil. Civil conversation. Tyler, this is literally up to you not being a dick and not letting fucking Judy Booty. You had. Huh? Yeah, one shot, bro. Yeah, one I'm shot. Trying to save your life. Can't you see that? Green Arrow, bro. He may show up with some fucking Van Helsing shit. You know? Just like old, old Ricky. Judy Booty. Brady. Jabrady. Jabroni. That's their name. The Jabronis. It's an acquired taste. I don't see that magic little ring on your stitch finger. <laughs> You know something about Klaus, you better start talking. They did stitch his fingers back. <laughs> You're asleep. Now, is that any way to convince me that you and I are on the same side? I'm going to pause again just because I got to say, man, I really like Gilbert. I, I got, I don't like him yet. A lot of people said he'll grow on me. If he continues his, his same path he's on right now, I could see that possibly happening. And I won't forgive him for Anna's death whatsoever. Uh, because he literally drove a fucking stake through her heart. But I do like his haircut. I know I've already said that, but it, it suits him well. Just minor things like that. It suits, suits him well. Good on you. You know? And the fact he's a stitched up finger, bro. Hey. Hey. It's where. Yeah, you're avoiding me a little. A little bit. Hi, Matt. Okay, he's maybe a little. Can, can we talk later? I mean, I'm heading to work right now, but maybe after. Clear up some of this weirdness. Yeah. Yeah, I'd really like that. I love them so much that it hurts. Haven't seen him, have you? No, nope. not since earlier. Sorry. I know you're lying. Really? How? Is that one of your little wolf tricks? No. <laughs> God damn, bro. <laughs> what in the fucking wombo combo was that? She has vervain spray. I can't say vervain pepper spray. And fucking... What was his name? Bradley? Brady? Brody? One of them typical white dude B names. It just... What? Well... First of all, point blank in the middle of the street. 
Somebody had to hear that shit, right? Hey, wakey, wakey. Back from the dead a second time. That shit... That shit probably still gotta hurt. Oh, Jesus. All right, Wolverine. That's so cool. Oh, he's fucked. Want to be friends? Oh, that that dude is getting fucking go now? gaffled. I, say to you, Tyler. I came back to this town because I wanted a life. But some random gorilla just met told me we're we're sworn enemies, so I can't believe you. Hey, everything okay? He needs proof. What's happening? Heard her again, and you're dead. I heard her again, and she's dead. Bring Tyler to me. The clearing by Wickery Falls. You have 20 minutes until she dies. Hey, goof face. This motherfucker is literally having a goddamn face-to-face sit-down conversation. And Tyler's dumbass had to yell help when literally dude's just trying to talk to you. And look at this chain of events. Now Caroline's in the back of some fucking camper. Andy Starr. She looks like... A news person. Can I buy you a drink, Amy? My glass is on full, Amy. Thank you. Damn, bro. That's that. Oh, that hurt that girl. You totally blew her off. I'm steering clear of all women at the moment. Mood. I feel that shit, bro. Get out. Look, we don't have time for this. We need to get Caroline back. No, we don't need to do anything. I'll take care of it. First dad duty. Ground your daughter. Keep her here. <laughs> He's saying ground your daughter. Oh, uh, you drinking horse piss? What the fuck, bro? You can't trust people on a camper. How many vampires are there in this town anyway? I don't want to laugh because Caroline's in pain, but he has a fucking. Dollar Tree squirt gun filled with vervain, bro. Uh, and it's green, by the way. And I've made mistakes. But you and I, we're family. You don't get to use that word. That you word don't. is off limits to you. You don't. Fine. You don't. But it Not yet. The facts. Not yet. You're right. Can't use it yet. Facts and listen up. You may be my father, but I am never going to be your daughter. You got that? It doesn't have to get any messier than it already has. They were literally just having a conversation. Not your enemy, Jules. It's a little late to be waving a white flag, don't you think? My brother, the peacemaker. I <laughs> uh, haven't got here before me. I'm gonna let him try it his way before I resort to my way, <laughs> which is a little bloodier. <laughs> so, <laughs> Let's go with the pilot. <laughs> a full moon, it's not an even fight, and you know it. Fucking dog whistle. Damn, they got a motherfucking blowtorch, flamethrower. They got daggers and shit. Hey, bro, just release, just release Connie. Which one of you killed Mason? Uh, that'd be me. Boys, make sure that one suffers. We can take him. <laughs> we can take him. <laughs> Bitch out here doing kick flips. That dude midair and took the whole. He gave him a hope. <laughs> My man had a heart reduction. Yo! God damn! Tyler, bro, listen. <laughs> yeah, bitch, try again. Call that shit. Tyler? Tyler, do something, bro. This is. Oh, duck. Oh, duck, stab, rip. Give me that. Oh, load it up. Go ahead. Oh, caught that one too. Guess again, bitch. Throwing it back at you. Oh, in the neck. Oh, you gonna bleed out? You gonna bleed out? Jugular? Oh, stabbed in the back. That hurt. Oh, fuck. Oh, stabbed in the back. Damon, your brother's out here. You done took out two. Come on now. 
There you go. The main jabroni. The main jabroni. Oh, dip, dodge, dock. Oh. Oh. Damn. Get that motherfucker off me. Get that off her right now. Tyler, do something, bro. This is your chance to get one redemption point with me. One. One redemption point. Letting her go wasn't enough. Nah, that ain't about to happen like you think it is. Yo, Dr. Martin, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> You made a promise to Elena. I'm here to see it's upheld. Yo, need to go. I got cold chills. <laughs> hey, bro, get Damon and Caroline. Doctor Martin came walking through like fucking Christ, bro. Had his hands up. Oh. <laughs> hey, Doctor Martin showed up and was just like, oh, put everybody down. Put every one of them down. That's some OP level warlock type shit that I've been wanting to see. And that's one way to get everybody's trust. I see you, Dr. M. Hell yeah, brother. Tyler's dumbass. Did not, look, he could have got one redemption point just by saying something to, to Juilliard right there and being like, hey, let my people go. And then you would have had one redemption point. Granted, that would have put you at negative... 10,000 redemption points, but still like you're one move up the notch. That's a step forward. Simple task. You fuck that up. You're going to trust some girl showed up, say you knew Mason. I know Mason. You're like, oh, do you really? You know fucking Mason. And then you immediately just trust them. I can't stand that motherfucker. Dude. You're not fine. You need some blood and a fucking... Hot shower. Facts. Would be upset if there was blood. Facts. Hey man, when you're sore and like beat up, I've never been shot with bullets repeatedly the whole night, but when that happens, you take a shower and lay in bed, it just hits different. I really wanted Caroline to bust out that fucking trailer and just start beating shit everybody. That would have been top tier moment. I'm buying. <laughs> I've been thinking. <laughs> that choice of words. Sorry, Damon. I think you and Stefan. We'll do all you can to protect Elena. Oh, you don't fucking say. I agree with that statement. Into the ash, and then plunged into their heart. <laughs> don't fucking put that towards me. How do you know all this, John? Isabel. She's very good at finding out. Why would you, of all the people... Hey, Johnny, can I ask a question? Uh, why of all people would you tell fucking Damon that? Now, as much love as I have for Damon, if the boy knows how to kill something, he's going to fucking kill something with that way. He's going to do it. He's impulsive, but he just wants to see how things work. Just perform a little experiment. We got a good little agreement going with Elijah. Damon, hey, bro, I'm coming at you right now as a dude watching this a decade late. Don't do it. Don't. Don't. Don't go after Elijah. I feel like we can trust him. Then again, you do have a good gut instinct most of the time. So if you feel like you need to, fucking do it. What do I what do I care, bro? I'm just here for the entertainment. Mike, I'm so sorry, Matt. Are you okay? Yeah. Something came up with Bonnie and she needed me. You know, a friend thing. You understand? Yeah. Uh so are you with her right now? Yeah. So I'm not gonna make it tonight, Matt. But can I see you tomorrow? Yeah, sure. Everything works out. Ah. Look at Johnny right there, bro. You need to bounce. Okay. You need to fucking bounce. Goodbye. I had no idea they would come for you. Yeah, you didn't know, but it happened. Do you know what they did to me? Stood there. You didn't do anything. You didn't even didn't bark or nothing. You help your friend. What you do you didn't fucking bark whelp yelp none of it no, it's, nah. too it's too late it's been too late fuck yeah severed ties happen again 
So you take that back to your little werewolf pack and you get the hell out of my house. We love to see it. Look at that staring at the camera. A certain dominance on your little puppy dog ass. She just pissed on your tree. What you gonna do about it? Nothing. Wow. Reminiscent of him closing the door and... I'm sorry about earlier. Enough already. I like it. I don't want you here and I can't make that any more clear. Right next, them goddamn knives back on the table. Here to protect me. Where's your mother's? Isabel? No. Your mother. Miranda. I remember her wearing it when she was young. Oh, that choked me up. Oh, that just choked me up, dude. Miranda and Grayson were your parents, Elena. Hell yeah, they were. And I know I'm nothing to you. There ain't even no room in there. About your friends. There ain't even no room in there to fucking stretch your legs. That boy got his heart ripped out in a neck snap. Stefan killed two. I think Damon killed one. I may have miscounted that, but hey, who's counting? Who's keeping track anyways, you know? Check out takeout. Got some wings or something? Some backup. We're gonna slumber it. <laughs> we haven't done it in ages. Ah! <laughs> gang, gang! <laughs> oh. Oh, man. Hey, good on him for putting that together. This went from let me buy you a drink to let's rub suds on each other in a f f fucking bathtub. The thing is, Miss Sexy Reporter Girl, <laughs> I have a problem I need help with. It's really messing with my mind. I knew it. I know how to pick them. This man's starting to fuck with people again. Why do you kill people? Because I like it. It's in my nature. It's who I am. Andy. Well, maybe this is who you are now. Love does that, Damon. It changes us. It does. Just stop talking. Well, yeah, get, 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 get back to the thing, you know? Hey, Andy, I, I've been there. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, bro, dab, a dab will do you. Andy, I've been in your shoes. It's hard to pick them sometimes. No. No one does. This is between you, me, and Isabel. I want out of this tomb, John. I'm already on it. John. John. The second you got any sort of of fucking points with me. You immediately throw it all away. You get points. And then you just toss it. Something just flew into my eye. You get points, bro. And then you just fucking, you just toss it, toss it aside. Why? Why? Hmm? For what reason? Why are you doing this? It better be good. It better be worth it. Because if not, we got a real fucking problem. Now, Tyler fucked up royally, right? He led to Connie being captured and fucking basically tortured, which allowed the brothers in arms to show up. The brothers of destruction lay a little bit of the law down, even though they were outnumbered. They got kind of cornered for a minute. And we had Dr. Martin walk up, uh, wiping him out. And Tyler, you didn't do a goddamn thing, bro. You just stood there. You freed Caroline. But that could have happened. Anybody could have did that. What you do after that, bro? Nothing. Nothing. So now you done lost Caroline's trust and her friendship. So now you're back in the trailer park of werewolves. The den.
And now they know about the Moonstone. Tyler. Oh, boy stresses me out. The Damon's just going through it, man. He finds these people to vent to. And then he fucking gaffles them. Hopefully he doesn't kill Andy. I'm assuming. Did Andy take over for a, a gooseneck? Did, did, he, did she take over for them? Does that make perfect sense? John talking to Elena, bro, about that necklace was so wholesome. And then I just feel like he's just going to turn all that away and just shit on everybody's hopes and dreams. We got to see Jeremy for the first time. We got to see Bonnie for a split second. That We end with, with Damon fucking... I, literally, we end with Damon in, <laughs> in the bathtub telling all of his dirty secrets. And... Uh, daddy issues for sure. I, I feel like Elena will probably end up growing to trust John. But I don't know if it's time to get Catherine out of the tomb. I think she should be in there for a while. I feel like it's going to happen eventually. She's not going to be in there the whole time. I feel like this character has been established. It's too important for anything to happen. I feel like we will see Isabel again at some point because she's apparently doing something to hold off Klaus. Meanwhile, Stephen Amell and the fucking trailer park boys are trying to form together something. Just leave. Just leave. Because here's what I would do. For, again, and John giving fucking Damon the goddamn the dagger of justice, right? And saying, hey, go take care of this. If I am, if I'm them, I'm making a special request if this, if this vampire or this werewolf thing persists. I'm going to get on the phone. I'm going to dial 1-800-ELIJAH. I'm going to be like, hey, buddy, um... We're having a problem keeping Elena safe, which is your main priority right now, so you can lure out Klaus. So this this has to do with you. I need you to come out here, get a pocket full of fucking nickels, and smack the shit out of some werewolves. Okay? That's what I need. I need heads to spin on the floor, hearts out, in your hands, and coins flying everywhere. That's it. Bing, bam, bop, case closed. Get it done. Not saying the brothers couldn't get out there and lay down the law, but... I feel like Elijah will fucking come up and just do some shit. So apparently, according to myth, that's how we can kill um, an original. Do I think it's true? No, not at all. I'm not buying it for one second. Something about it seems a little fishy. Something about it makes me feel like Damon is going to attempt to do it and fuck up the whole thing. That's just my thoughts. I could be completely wrong. The next episode is called Crying Wolf. Obviously, a little boy that cried wolf, but I would like it to be a crying wolf, as in the death of the jabronis. Jewel and Brody, Brady, Brandy, whatever the fuck. I hope that they just get snapped. I truly do. They're right, Jerry. That, that's what I want to happen. And also, one Tyler to die, too. But for some reason, I don't feel like it's going to happen. Sad. I, I do really like before I head out to. Uh, the slumber fest because it wasn't just it wasn't just Stefan bringing over Elena to hang out with her friend it they also brought Bonnie and the three best friends getting their little sleepover they should have invited Amy oh wait yeah yeah no <laughs> uh poor amy all right guys i'm gonna go and head out links to the patreon for private discord early access full uncut episodes in the description box as well as a twitch stream social medias all the good stuff right down there in the description box we can have a comment we can have a comment discussion in the that's that's not that's too many words we can have a discussion in the comment section playlist up on screen as always stay cute stay hydrated and i will catch you on the next one